I'm tired of this church. Oh, holy thing on me. That's just, that's a beautiful. Anybody want to tell me who little pissed off preschooler this belonged to? It's obvious that his parents ain't nothing like how mine was when I was growing up. I couldn't stand church either. I was sick of that because we stayed in there too long. My home church is Raptor Creek Baptist Church in Rembert, South Carolina. And we used to be in there. Church started at 10 o'clock on Sunday morning. We wouldn't get out till Wednesday. And after that, I had vacation Bible school in Rock Hill, South Carolina at Mount Prospect Baptist Church. We were just church, then church. We always had church, and we would stay in there. One time, we stayed in church so long, we had a picture of Martin Luther King on a church fan. I looked down at the church fan one time. Martin Luther King had went to sleep on the church fan. Yeah, I'm sick of church, but we're not about to say I'm sick of church. If I had ever said that I was tired of church and I was ready to go home, my grandmother, my mother, all anybody, everybody, because they all had permission to whoop me, would have pulled my head completely off of my body and sat it on the remembrance of me table for all the other little children to see. As an example, this is what happens when you talk out of turn or say the wrong thing in church. That lets you know, though, these, these the kids nowadays are spoiled. Not only was we in church forever and a day, all day, Sunday. Did, we didn't have cushions on the seat. There was wood. They had wood on the seat. You had to sit on the wood. You understand? You know how that is? You ever, have you ever had to sit on a wooden chair for six days straight, praising the Lord, singing and clapping, trying not to fall asleep? We can't chew no gum. You can't eat in church. You can't do nothing. All you do is just sit there. That's it. And we didn't have air conditioning in the church when I was real young. I mean, when I got a little older, we had air conditioning. When I was real young, it didn't have no air conditioning in the church. So now you got all these black people sitting in the church, which is going to track heat. You got them in here singing, which they got their hot breath everywhere. We ain't got no air conditioning. We in here about to die. And he, the preacher, gonna just preach. The preacher preached for at least six, seven hours. You won't sit a bit talking about Jesus and forgave you for all of your sins. When did you have time to sin? Sin where? You've been up here all this time. Preacher, everybody, we've been in church all my life. But even with all of that, we never said a word. I knew not to say nothing. Nah, you mess around and say you tired of being at church if you want to. You will leave out of there with a Bible stuck down your throat. I understand how you feel, but I know good and hell well we wasn't getting ready to say that. Mm -mm, no, no, you would never live long enough to take communion. It wasn't going to happen. You would have been dead. Only thing that would have saved me, Jesus Christ himself would have had to come down and pull them old women off of me. Talking about you tired of church. If I had to say that, the only place I ever would have been from that point on was church. You know why? Because they had to nail me to the cross on top of the steeple. They're on top of the church. Every time you pass by the church, that's where you would just see me right there.